hi guys welcome back to my channel um today i'm going to be testing out some new lipsticks that were sent to me through pixie beauty in pr and um also i will be having a few honorable mentions of some of the products i used to create this eye look today if you would like a tutorial on this eye look please let me know down in the comments and i will do my best to recreate this look for you guys so before we get into today's video i would like to ask you if you can subscribe give it a thumbs up share with your friends and also go ahead and follow me on all my social media twitter instagram it is at glam by becca 14 i really appreciate all the support you guys are giving me i can't believe that we are so close to 100 subs already like that is amazing to me so thank you so so much so if you want to see the review go ahead and keep on watching Okay, so before I go ahead and start reviewing the lip products that I got, I wanted to do a few honorable mentions on what I used to create this look, and um, so them, they are fairly new to me, so I really wanted to mention them because they are amazing. So first, what I used for shadows to recreate this look is the Huda Beauty Rose Gold palette it is so stunning I'll go ahead and take it out and show you guys real quick it is so freaking pretty today I used um, 24k um, Bay as like a base and then I use flamingo suede bossy cocoa and man eater a lot of people are hit and miss on this palette. Some say they don't like it, some say they love it, and I am definitely one of those people that love it. It is freaking amazing. So yeah, this palette is probably going to be my go-to as of right now, unless I decide to do like more colorful looks because these are a lot of warmer neutral tones, but like, oh my god, they're so freaking pretty, I love it. Okay, so next honorable mention is, let me see, okay, here it is, the lashes I'm wearing today. It's my first time wearing these. They are so dramatic and so me up my alley. They're so beautiful and they are so soft, like probably the softest lashes I've ever used. They're so beautiful. They are the pink fish lashes, pink fishes. Oh my god. Okay, these are in PF17. I'm wearing PF16, but I pretty much went for the most dramatic. They sent these to me in PR, and look at, aren't they just gorgeous? They're so fluffy and soft. I just, oh, I'm in love with these. These will probably be what I grab for a lot lately as well. And the last honorable mention I would like to show you guys that I use in today's look, because this glow is pretty freaking blinding and I barely went in with the glow today. Like I was trying to keep it a little light. Didn't happen. This shit is so pigmented and beautiful. It is the Pure Bronze and Brighten palette. I got it in my boxy charm this month and oh my god, holy shit. It's so fucking pigmented. Excuse my language, but it is fucking pigmented. Look, one, one swipe. Do you freaking see that from one swipe? Like, how can you not reach for that? That is amazing. So, Pure Beauty, I was already a huge fan of you. I love your Solari Diaries palette, but this I love it the other shades are actually really beautiful too I just didn't use them in today's look but like there's one swipe of the blush and I like it because it kind of gives you just like this glowy pinky look on your cheeks really pretty and then the bronze shade one swipe pigment one swipe look at that 
like not even a back and forth swipe that was literally one one swipe in the pan and oh my god I'm, I'm in love and when you do use the bronzing shade I know it looks a little oh, like a little it looks really shimmery right here but for some reason when you put it on your face and you buff it in it's really beautiful it's like a healthy beautiful bronzy glow it is not like I just put a pound of glitter on my face. No, it's very beautiful. I highly recommend this too. If you didn't get, if you don't get Box of Charm and you didn't get it in this month's Box of Charm, which everyone who does get Box of Charm, I'm pretty sure got this, you should go buy it. It's beautiful. And just want to put out there that none of what I just said is sponsored. Pretty sure Pure Beauty and Huda Beauty don't even know I exist, but. Just wanted to throw that out that they're not sponsored. I did get the lashes in PR, but I didn't even tell them I was going to do a YouTube video using them at all. So yeah, if you want to see how I did this look, please tell me in the comments and I will do a tutorial. I will. Because honestly, I'm kind of living. This is probably one of my favorite looks I've done lately. And the inspiration for this look was definitely Ness Artistry. If you don't follow her, you need to. Go to Instagram and follow her Ness Artistry. I will put it like right here or right here on the screen so you can see. She is everything I've ever wanted to attempt in makeup. She is the bomb. So amazingly freaking talented. Like you need to check her out. Like even if you're like, nah, I don't want to follow nobody, go check out her work. She deserves, like, all the recognition in the world. She is amazing, and she's so sweet to me. I'm so glad I met her. Like, if anything, I had to be grateful for doing all of this stuff is meeting some of the people I've met in the beauty community. They are amazing. But anyways, let's get into it, because I'm so excited to show you guys these. They're so amazing. Um, excuse my voice. I know it's very raspy and... I sound congested, but that's because I am. I'm sick, and I still push through so I can get this video out for you guys today. Um, hope you're probably going to be watching it the next day tomorrow, but it'll be today for you. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy all of this because I am really excited to show you. So I got this beautiful, beautiful package in PR, probably the most amazing, beautiful package I've ever received. No offense to anybody who sends me PR, I'm just really in love with packaging. So it looks like this. Oh my god, and it has like a lock and key on it, and the lock and key legit works. Like, it's not just a charm, it really locks and unlocks, but I already went ahead and unlocked it. And then, so roses is the theme on this because they use like rose oil for um, the products. Um, I'm not much of a floral scent person. I love like fruity and sweet smells but I actually do really like how they smell because I do I have these these days products they sent already and they're really 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 nice like I highly recommend them and I have been using these for the past few days just so I can kind of get a, a handle on how they work for my skin and what my thoughts are on them because obviously I can't use them right now with pound makes on my face Maybe I'll use them in the future, like, get a ready with me video, but basically the Rose Caviar Essence, which is this one, is um, something you put on after you cleanse and tone, and it feels so nice on my skin. I love it. It feels like it's so soft and clean after, and then the smell is really nice. It's not, like, in your face. I smell like roses. No, it is very light but nice. I like it. And then the Rose Flash Balm is the other product they sent, which you can either use as a mask um, for like a skin boost, or you can use it as um, a primer under your makeup, just as a moisturizer. It's amazing. I love this stuff. I will definitely, definitely want to be buying more when I run out because they're amazing. Um, Pixie Beauty has some really good skincare. Like, their Glow Tonic is my shiz. I love it. I use it all the time. I'm so glad that they sent this to me to try out because now it's like my go-to. I have to have this toner all the time and I will be buying it again and again and again. 
I love it. I was using a different toner, but I stopped using it because I love the Glow Tonic. It's beautiful. And then, okay, so the Matte Last Liquid Lips is what they sent to me, and they came in five shades. They are so beautiful. They're all like a nude, rosy, pinky, brownish, beautiful colors. So I'm going to start with the lightest shades, and then I will... Um, do the darkest one last because I'm pretty sure the darkest one is the one I'm going to stick with for this look. I just feel like it will complement it very well. So first I'm going to be pulling out Al Natural. Okay this is Al Natural. It is like a pinky nude, like a light pinky nude. Let's go ahead and open that up. Very pretty. Love the applicator on it. So cute. I'm going to go ahead and give it a little swatch on my hand. Very pretty. Very up my alley. I think all of these colors will complement my skin very well, as well as a lot of other skin tones, so I love that they did that. And these are all infused with rose hip seed oil, so that's pretty awesome. I love when they use natural ingredients like that. But enough of me talking, let's go ahead and put it on and see how it looks. They are definitely full pigmentation, one swipe, very pretty. This color is not one I would normally reach for. But I do like it, I have to say. I just don't think it suits this eye look very well. Oh, what, what does that smell? They smell sweet. Oh, it's giving me like... You know when you smell something from like your past that you've smelled before and it just gives you like that nostalgia feeling? I'm definitely getting that vibe off of this. And I'm glad I can still smell even though I'm pretty congested. Okay, so it has fully dried down. It's not sticky. It's very full pigment. I honestly have no complaints. I mean, this doesn't suit my eye well, like my eye look very well, but I like it. I really do. Definitely not the first color I would reach for because I am um, more of a fan of like darker colors, but it's like an almost like a burnt orange brown. But yeah, like a burnt orange. It's pretty. I do like it. Okay, so I'm going to wipe this one off. I can wipe it off my hand as well so we can start the next one. Okay, before I start the next one, I did want to quickly add that it did dry down fully matte. It was completely dry. Um, I didn't really test the transfer, which I should have, but I will test that on the next shade. So bear with me. Sometimes I forget things. The next one I'm going in with is Mac Beige. This one does look a little light, but hopefully it's a light that suits my skin tone very well. Again, same doe foot applicator. It's very cool. I like these a lot. I feel like they will transfer the pigment very well to the skin. Ooh, I actually really like that color. It's gorgeous. Okay, so I'm going to test it on the lips. Same smell. It's very beautiful. I love it. impression off of this shade. I definitely like this one more. I feel like it suits my skin very well. I think it goes great with this eye look. I feel like this is a nude that would go good with any eye look, dramatic or not. It is beautiful. I love it. It's still drying down, so I'm going to give it a minute and see how it works dried down. I feel like the pigment in this one is not as harsh, but it's still pretty pigmented to the point where I didn't need a second application. Okay, let me wipe dry my hand. So 
that the makeup wipe doesn't, like the wet mix for the makeup wipe doesn't remove it. Oh, okay. There is a little transfer. A little bit. A lot of it stayed on my lips, though. I would have to, um, test out the wearability. I like when lipsticks don't completely, completely dry down, though, because I feel like they are more comfortable when they don't. But that's just my preference. I feel like they're more drying when they dry completely matte. So I like this. I definitely will be going in again and using these. Loving these so far. So I'm going to go ahead and go in with the next one. It's called Pastel Petal. Pastel Petal. Okay. Same thing. I'm pretty sure they're all going to have the same damn applicator. Why wouldn't they? Same smell. Love the smell. This one is more like a brownish... Like a brown pink nude. It's a tiny bit darker than the last one. Very pretty. Definitely like a pastel pinkish brown. Pastel is a perfect name for it. I'm gonna go. Okay, sorry for the sloppy application. Usually, well, it's not too bad, but usually I'm a little more precise. But, um, this one is very, very, very similar to the last one. Maybe a tad, tad bit darker. But also very suitable for a lot of skin tones, I would say. I feel like this would look good on a lot of people. I don't know, what do you guys think? Okay, um, completely dry down, not sticky, very comfortable. Um, it is giving me a bit of, like, you can see the creasing in my lips really well, which anything matte is going to emphasize textures. It's going to, um, settle, I guess, in fine lines and creases, which you can kind of see. But it's nothing dramatic where I'm like, oh, I bubble it. <laughs> like, you know? I really like it. Okay, yeah. I like this one. See, transfer. Very minimal, if any. It's like not a lot at all. Okay, so next up we have Really Rose. And it's like a kind of like a terracotta nude. Really pretty, which is... Totally up my alley. Totally my type of colors. Very pretty. A little lighter out of the package than I expected. But, oh my god. That is very pretty. Okay, I'm going to swipe on my hand. Nice. I live for it. And I love that I don't have to dip in more than once. This has the perfect amount of product on it that I don't have to dip in more than once. <music> Bitch. Look at that shade. It's a little more lighter on the pink side than I expected. I expected it to be a little more red. But, oh my god, yes, bitch, yes, freaking living for this. They all have amazing pigmentation, let me tell you right now. I can already tell, even the last one is going to be amazingly pigmented. This shit is amazing. I'm going, Pixie, I'm going to be using these all the time. Thank you so much for sending this to me. You guys, I was in legit tears when I saw this PR package at my door. I was like, no freaking way. They liked me. They kept me on. They sent me more stuff. Like, I don't... It's not about them sending me stuff. I appreciate it so much. I'm so grateful for it. And it gives me more things to test out and recommend or not recommend to you guys. It's just the fact that they recognized me and gave me the opportunity to 
just prove myself, I guess. And this is everything to me. Like, you don't know. I was in tears. Like, I can't believe they know I exist. I can't believe they are showing me that they appreciate my art. Like, it means everything to me, you guys. And thank you for those who have subscribed. I can't believe we're so close to 100 subs in, like, two weeks. I did not expect that many people in two weeks. It's not a lot compared to the big YouTubers, but to me, it's everything. Every single one of you that subscribed means everything to me. Like, oh, you have no idea. Like, thank you so much. But enough of my ram rambling. Let's go into my final thoughts on this shade. Completely dried. Let's see. Very, very minimal transfer. You can kind of see a tiny bit. But it's so comfortable, like, I can't get over how comfortable it is because lately mattes are not my go-to. They are not. I like a gloss now, which I never liked before. And the ColourPop Satin Ultra Satin Lips. Those are so bomb. They last all day. Okay, last shade is Evening Rose. This is a shade I'm most excited for. It looks the darkest. It looks the most dramatic, which is me. But it's still like a nudie terracotta rose which happens to be my new favorite shade to wear so this one is evening rose let's open her up very pretty give a little swipe on my hand one swipe full fucking pigment yes it is dark just how i want it but not too dark okay i'm applying this one already because i'm so excited <laughs> And I gotta say, I love the applicator. It provides such precision. Like, I am able to get a pretty precise line. I don't have to clean anything up. I love it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my Pure Palette with the highlight that I mentioned earlier in the video. And just kind of zhuzh up that upper lip. Keep it bow. All the makeup wipes kind of doled it down a bit. Why not? Like, why not? Amazing. Definitely my favorite shade out of all of them. But they are all very, very beautiful. The pigmentation is completely there in every shade. There was one particular shade that it was a little, 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 little less... Um, pigmentation wise but otherwise very very beautiful that was the matte beige that was just a tiny bit lacking compared to the others but I wouldn't say lacking I feel like that's a harsh word because it still had a lot of pigmentation there and it was beautiful my final thought on the matte last liquid lips from pixie by Petra or pixie beauty they are one of the best formulas I have tried in the last few months. I feel like that's bad to say compared to other brands. I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings, but I am going to be 100% honest. They really did the damn thing with these Libby's. I am in love and I am going to use them so much. So thank you, Pixie, for sending them to me. I'm so so appreciative i'm gonna go take some glam shots for my insta right now because this eye look is too bomb not to share so um yes if you enjoyed this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe and share it with your friends and family and your neighbor and whoever whoever would enjoy it that you feel would enjoy it just share it i appreciate it and go ahead and give me a follow on all my social media twitter and instagram at glam by Beck 14 one word, no, underscores, no, capitalizations, well, I can, why would you have capitalizations, but no underscores, no separations, just all one word, call my book 14. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a good day or night, wherever you are, and bye!